waiting for a jailbreak be like one eternity later <laughs> What's up guys, the TechSpot here, and in my last iOS 15 jailbreak update video, I told you guys to stay on the lowest version of iOS 15 possible. It's best to remain on the lowest software possible if you do want to jailbreak. That's the general rule for jailbreaking. And if you did update to iOS 15.4, to then downgrade back to iOS 15.3.1. But overall, the same premise still remains. Remain on the lowest version of iOS 15 that you can to see a new jailbreak. So, we did get some new news today which i want to share with you guys so first off the upcoming ios 15 jailbreak name is going to be taurine you go to taurine.app to go to the website and currently it does support ios 14 through 14.3 now this is the jailbreak that is going to be updated to support iOS 15. Now to start with, this jailbreak is gonna use Binary Boys exploit and Team Stars exploit, but which devices it will support and which iOS 15 versions it will support is a little bit complicated, so make sure that you pay attention right here. So Coolstar, otherwise known as Star Player 132 on Discord, stated basically my plans for Taurine 15, A8 through A11 devices will eventually support all iOS 15 versions. So those devices are basically the iOS iPhone 10 and below. If you are curious as to what your device is, the A8 through A11, that's basically the processor chip that they use inside the iPhone. So if you want to know which device that you have, simply go to Google and search your device, for example, iPhone 11, and then type in chip, and boom, I can see that the iPhone 11 does have the A13. So that's how you know what I am talking about when I say A8 through 11, and so on and so forth. So again, guys, A8 through A11 devices will support for all iOS 15 versions for this jailbreak. That is the iPhone 10 and below. Now for A12 and above devices, which are the iPhone 10s and above, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 13, those are all above A12. Anyways, A12 plus devices will support iOS 14 through iOS 15.1.1 in the near future. And all that needs to be done is that it just needs a sandbox escape, which Coolstar stated that they are working on so guys you can see why especially for newer devices a12 and plus why you need to remain on the lowest version of ios possible if you do want to jailbreak sooner again unfortunately though you cannot downgrade back to ios 15.1.1 so we just have to wait for the 15.3.1 jailbreak if you did update to 15.4. But again, make sure you downgrade quickly so you do not miss out on this future opportunity. But again, for A12 devices and above, you'll be able to jailbreak on iOS 15.1.1 and below pretty soon. Okay, so we covered older devices, A8 through A11, which will support all iOS 15 versions for this jailbreak. And then we talked about A12 and above devices, which will support iOS 15.1.1 and below. But what about A12 and above devices on iOS 15.2 and above, like 15.3.1? Coolstar stated, consider set UID completely dead on these firmers. Jailbreaks will need a user land bug to get code execution as root at minimum pseudo cilio etc will be broken and will need to be updated even if the jailbreak can be done. So basically what Coolstar is saying is for newer devices, A12 and above, which again are the iPhone 10s, 11, 12, 13, and basically the iPhone 10s and any device newer than the 10s. On iOS 15.2 and above, they do have a lot of work to do to make this jailbreak work. So yeah, guys, I know that could be a little bit confusing. That's why I really wanted you guys to pay attention over there. But yeah, in short and summary, as consolidated as I could put it, on older devices, it'll support every single iOS 15 version for this jailbreak which is again the iphone 10 and below and then for newer devices which is a12 and above those will support ios 15.1.1 and below and then for newer A12 and above devices and newer iOS 15.2 and above software versions, that is a little bit tricky because you have newer devices and a newer software version. They still need to get a user land bug and code execution. So yeah, it'll be more time for that jailbreak to arrive for newer devices on newer iOS. So yeah, guys, basically remain on the lowest version of iOS 15 possible if you do want to see a jailbreak sooner. In my last video, many people were asking me if they should update to 15.3.1 when in the video i did mention that it is best to remain on the lowest version of ios possible 
so just do not update if you're on 15.3.1 i mean eh, it's good but you'll see a jailbreak probably way out in the future but if you're on a 15.2 you'll probably see a jailbreak sooner if you're on 15.1.1 you'll see a jailbreak very very soon you guys are seeing how this works older devices are better for jailbreaks because they're easier to crack and older ios versions are better because they have more exploits released and vulnerabilities that they can use in the jailbreak so again easier to bypass in newer ios versions and newer iphones and ipads they are putting more and more security and bug fixes so that makes it harder to jailbreak but yeah regardless we will be seeing jailbreaks in the future and i am so excited we just had to play the game of being patient that definitely i know i know is the hardest part i am waiting myself as always i'll keep you guys posted and stay tuned for many more exciting videos this is the tech spot thank you for watching peace back and I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. And I'm smoking, and I'm smoking, and I'm smoking. Mm -hmm. And I'm choking, and I'm choking, and I'm choking. Yeah, I'm doing that a lot. Uh. Gotta get this new drop. Gotta yeah. get it. Gotta move in this desert. Uh.